Hey, what's up, guys? It's time for another Days of Our Lives review. And just a heads up, I got a bit of a sore throat today. Eddie's been sick the last few days, and I think I might be getting what he has, whatever it is. <laughs> so if I start to sound weird after a while, that's because. <laughs> and also, I got a cough drop in my mouth, but <laughs> it's been helping too my throat. Just a little heads up. And also, yeah, I've been kind of down this week for, I don't know. <laughs> so I didn't really take much notes about what happened this week, except for stabby stuff, because, you know, that's my favorite. So most of what happened this week is coming for, um, straight from my brain. So, but <clears throat> we got three days of stabby this week. <laughs> Two days of with them together, and then... Today didn't share soon, but seems like we're starting to move the storyline a little faster. Maybe <clears throat> get to the good parts, anyways. <laughs> so you know, EJ he had moved into the office already, <clears throat> and he was getting rid of Gabby's nameplate when E um he did when Lee walked in and um. He just like, you know, just want to make sure that <clears throat> there's going to be no problems with Gabby um, trying to interfere with anything or whatever. And because um, of their working relationship and Lee ensured EJ that that's not a problem. And then EJ's like, you know, it's a good thing. So um, Stephanie doesn't know what you did to him. Just as Steph Stephanie is coming in. <clears throat> doesn't make a lie about, you know, how, you know, Lee took what's supposed to have been Stephanie's job because of his dad, you know, worry about Stephanie's mental state since coming back from the dead and not remembering his wife. So. <laughs> oh, Lordy. <clears throat> yeah, and so they sit down and they have like this little meeting going on. They didn't really say what Stefan's going to be doing, but, you know, it's a soap opera. It doesn't matter what everybody's doing, really. If you're not the CEO, then you don't matter <laughs> whatever you're doing. <laughs> but, um,. <clears throat> No, EJ was really packing it on, talking straight up shit about Gabby. Like, to, um, I, I blocked out most of the words because I'm like, EJ's so rude, his sister in law. But he said that, um, Gabby might dress in nice clothes, but she's a, oh, but she's a horrible person as well. <laughs> Stephen just yells, like, that's enough. I'm like, oh. <laughs> uh, he's heard that, um, EJ's being mad, mean to Gabby. <clears throat> but Stefan said that was because, you know, Lee's there. So, you know, he's talking shit about Gabby in front of her fiance. You know, it's not nice. He just like, what well, well, we're we supposed to do behind his back? <laughs> EJ got jokes. <laughs> but Stefan up and left. And, um,. Um, EJ just told me, you know, this is just a way to um, test them, see how well Rawls programming is doing. <clears throat> so, Rawls it this week, it doesn't seem like it's really <laughs> working out as well. But, um, <laughs> while that's going on, um, Wendy goes to Gabby, tries to get a job at Demir, because Lee shot her down. But, um, Gabby tells her that <clears throat> she's no longer the CEO. E um, EJ took over. And Winnie thought it was weird that, you know, Gabby was out, but Lee's still in. And, you know, of course, Will is turning because, you know, last week she made a pact with um, John and Ty to figure out everything's going on with EJ leaving Rolf. So, <clears throat> Gabby tells her, you know, her theory about, you know, Rolf doing something to Saffron, but, you know, she, she's not sure how to prove it or whatever. She can't find Rolf. So, Wendy just says that, you know, he deserved better. Um, 
she said job wise <clears throat> and i'm like man wise too but i digress <laughs> but anyways after when he leaves step and chills up oh my gosh Fangirl girl moment <laughs> and gabby just like straight lays into Stephen. <laughs> Like, like, damn girl, let him talk. <laughs> you know how Gabby is. Blah, 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 blah. <clears throat> She's like, oh, you're just here to taunt her or whatever. But Stefan's like, no, I'm not. And I think this is going to be a sweet moment because, you know, he's got mad at AJ. But no, he comes over with some damn divorce papers. I'm like, are you fucking serious? <clears throat> Yeah, he tells her that, you know, they had to be divorced in order for her to marry Lee. So, he gives her divorce papers, and Gabby looks at them and notices he hasn't signed them. So, it's like, she's like, um, so you didn't sign them, so if you want to divorce me so damn bad, then why didn't you sign them first? <laughs> And she's like, I'll sign them after you sign them. <clears throat> so he gives, she gives him the um, papers back. <clears throat> he goes to sign it, but he can't sign it. He can't move his hands. <laughs> and I'm like, ha ha, you don't want to sign them. <laughs> and um, she's like, you can't, can't you? <laughs> I'm like, he can't, he still wants you. <laughs> And, you know, she's like, <clears throat> you know, there's one last plea, like, you know, please look, you know, deep into your heart, even though it's Jake's heart, not yours. Uh, I don't know, and remember the time together. And just as it feels like he's about to see something is about to happen, Lee's bitch ass comes in. <clears throat> And I get so pissed. I like bang my I go like this on my desk. And I forgot that about my hand. <laughs> my hand was just starting to not really hurt as bad. And I banged it. And I'm like, <laughs> and then I'm like, I don't know if it hurts worse, my hand or the scene. <laughs> so Wednesday was very dramatic. <laughs> But Lee's like, oh, this is what you wanted to do. And it, um, Stefan's like, you just got word that the divorce papers are ready when they come over and have them. And so Lee, of course, is like, oh, I'll be a witness to y'all. Motherfucker, I wanted to. Oh! <sighs> <clears throat> so, yeah, um, Stefan signed some. Her hands over, hands them back over to Gabby. And I cry. <laughs> what happens when you're a fan girl? You get so overly emotional to your favorites. And <clears throat> uh, Gabby's quote You might be alive again, but you're dead to me now. I don't care what Rolf says, you don't have a heart anymore. Signs papers are given back to him and said and he says, Now nah, you can um free to be with Lee. And she's like, Oh, and you can go chase your precious Chloe. <clears throat> I don't need this, but Yeah, Stefan leaves and Lee and Gabby have sex and I'm like, Oh, oh. really, after all that you you just do that to me. <clears throat> Seven goes back to the office and he tells EJ that him and Gabby are divorced. And EJ is just like happy, he's like laughing and smiling. And Stefan smiles a little bit, then he looks like he's like really down and sad about it. And I'm like, that's because you still love her. <laughs> and on today's episode, it seems like Stefan is starting to get in, getting. Try make it. They made it seem like maybe he's starting to get to wanting to get to the bottom of everything. Because he goes and he sees Kristen, <clears throat> and he's like, he just wants to know, you know, why does he hate 
Um, what did Kristen and Ralph do to him? Why does he care? Gabby so much. And Kristen's like, you know, why would she go through all this trouble and money just to have him forget about um, Gabby? <clears throat> you know, Kristen's like, oh, she likes Gabby or whatever. And Stefan's like, hmm. So you're pro Gabby, but you you don't like Chloe, basically. I forgot exactly the words he said. <clears throat> it's like, oh, you know, if with Chloe out of the way, um, she can get back with Brady. And I'm like, oh, there you go, Stefan, you figure this out. <laughs> <coughs> <coughs> Uh, <laughs> I'm going to sleep. <laughs> and it's like, no, Birdie left Chloe all on his own. He's like, how do you know that? It's like, oh, work travels fast in Salem. I'm going to talk more about that in a second. So, Kristen basically said that. She loves him, and he went, she wouldn't stand in his way of being with the woman he loves, or some shit like that. And I'm just like rolling. Stefan <clears throat> said that he believes her, but I don't know. Just look on his face, just makes it seem like, hmm. You know, he's thinking a little bit about that. <laughs> <clears throat> anyway. I didn't need to cough in my hand. Ugh. And I go touch stuff and then give myself whatever it is again. That's why I have some um, hand sanitizer on my desk. <laughs> cough in her. I don't know. I was just getting on Kayla for coughing in her hand the other week. <laughs> oh, Lordy. <clears throat> and Gabby was talking to Ray today about um, everything that happened. <clears throat> And he says that Stefan was damn lucky to have her. And I'm like, yes. And he'll come around eventually. He just needs a little help. Dumbass. <laughs> and Gabby's like, oh, she just wants to find Rolf to get to the bottom of everything. And Rolf's, I know, Rafe's like, I know where Rolf is. <clears throat> so he told where Rolf is. And then he's like, oh, let me have a police escort you over there. Because that dude's dangerous. Ow, my finger. <laughs> you just told your sister where to found Rolf. And then you're like, oh, he's too dangerous. Don't go by yourself. I'm like, wow. <clears throat> uh, LA Lee is um, moving Rolf out of town. Because, you know, that Rolf's um, lab got raided for the um, serum for Kristen, um, Kristen for um, Kate, Kayla, Mar Marlena. <clears throat> and um, Lee's worried that, you know, it's only a matter of time before Gabby finds him. Because, you know, Rafe's the commissioner, her brother. <clears throat> So, Ralph is apparently getting a major upgrade wherever he's going. <laughs> and, um, at least, like, you know, the police are one thing, but Gabby, yeah, don't fuck with her. <laughs> the police is basically making Ralph, like, um, you ain't seen shit until you see Gabby's wrath. And I'm like, yeah, she killed the fucker. <laughs> she killed the like, Sal. <laughs> so, you know, what the fuck do you think she's going to do with you, Rolf? Especially if you don't give her what she wants. So, and he's like, he don't even want that. I'm like, you shouldn't have fucked with her. Because her ass is going to get it when she finds out all that shit. And I cannot wait to see what her and Stefan does to y'all bitch ass when they find out. <clears throat> <laughs> So, <clears throat> Ralph is supposed to be getting on a private plane. <laughs> so, or oh, jet. I'm sorry. Lee said jet. <laughs> so, 
Um, well, no, that guy that gets to him because um, that was in the um, preview to um, the Peacock Prima. Pre <laughs> the Peacock promo that they started airing um, like a week or so before. Um, no, it was the week before it moved to Peacock. <laughs> <clears throat> So, yeah, she ends up putting something to the store, I guess, a scalpel or something. So, we should see how it goes down there. But, um, Wendy and Johnny had met, um, uh, what was that? That was Wednesday. Yeah, that was Wednesday after Wendy finished talking to, um, What's his face? Her Gabby. I think he's talking to Gabby. <laughs> oh. <clears throat> well, before that. <laughs> oh, trip. Funny. He went to the Demir Mansion to um, look for Ava. And Johnny told him that um, EJ made her leave town because of, um, you know, her faking being married to Jake. And... <laughs> He's like, <clears throat> oh, they, um, what I say? Oh, they, um, okay, I'm trying to stop laughing. Um, <laughs> Johnny said that they had gotten close, they leaned on each other, but nothing more <laughs> until they saw each other naked. <laughs> and then that time that you just caught them in bed together and Trip just went. Pow! <laughs> Knocked him in the face. <laughs> John was like, nothing, nothing happened. <laughs> nothing went further. And so, um, Drip apologized. And then he goes and sees EJ. And he's like, oh, you ran my mom out of town. And he said, EJ said, you know, she was being a liar. She fake being married. Jake. Just like, you know, they were already going to get married or whatever. <clears throat> and it's like, you know, you find out about um, her and Johnny or whatever. He's like, yeah, <clears throat> he did. And, EJ, and like, how did you react? And Chip went, bam! <laughs> to EJ, too. <laughs> and I'm like, I'm betting EJ regrets. Asking how the reaction was. Yeah, he wanted to have, um, EJ wanted, um, Chip arrested. And he's like, like, no, you know, I just took over CEO. You don't want to, you know, just be a headline and start drama and stuff, basically. So they let it slide. <laughs> Chip, I'm sorry. Chip, I'm sorry about that one. <laughs> but anyway, Johnny ended up meeting up with Wendy, and Wendy told tells him about you know her conversation with Gabby. <coughs> I did it again, dang it! <laughs> and they're talking about how Doctor Roth might have did something, so they're like they can maybe Lee and EJ are in on it or something. Together and so, um, Johnny remembers that EJ writes down all his passwords. So they're like, oh, let's get into their files and see what we can find. So, when he tries to hack back into Lee's computer, and Johnny goes to EJ's office trying to find where he wrote down his passwords, and EJ catches him, of course. <clears throat> and John just makes up a story that he's there just to apologize or whatever. And he says he wants to talk about the mirror, but EJ's like, uh, you wouldn't like it here. Being behind the desk. <laughs> yeah, so. <clears throat> is that true, or is EJ just trying to or he just doesn't trust Johnny. Which, I mean, come on. He just, the flyer just told her ass last week that he wanted revenge on you, so. 
<clears throat> so obviously, you know, I could be doing getting the revenge. So <laughs> Yeah, but um Winnie was excited to see Trip and they were hugging and then um Lord Joey <clears throat> I know it's like I'm not sorry for the chick. I'm so sorry. I know it's bad. Being a Stella fan and not remembering her damn son's name. <laughs> but it was there and um they're inviting Wendy to stay with them, but they live in Seattle, they're just visiting because of Kayla. <laughs> so here they are still fighting over this girl. <laughs> And oh well, she's hanging out with Johnny, so <laughs> she's gonna pick a Demara over a Johnson. <laughs> and they're like the let the best Johnson win or let her pick the right Johnson or something. I'm like Sex joke. <laughs> so <clears throat> wonder how that's gonna work out. <laughs> But um, Kristen did deliver by um, Brady agreeing to dump Chloe. She dropped Sarah off at the police station. And, um, Lord, it was that Jada. Oh, Lord, I forgot her name. She was just on today, too. She was talking about her. <clears throat> but she dropped it off, and John was about to destroy it. And,. Brady stopped them just in the nick of time. This close. So close. <clears throat> yeah. Oh, that happened on yeah, that happened at the very end of Friday's episode. Well, anyways, you know, Brady convinced him that that was the true serum. But Rex, you know, had um tested it out and Marlena said that she wanted to be the guinea pig. <laughs> and Rex said it was like he was 94% or something like that. I'm like, close. that's closer to 100. So, yeah, let's do it. <laughs> Marlena took it first. <laughs> oh, Lordy. <clears throat> so, she took it first. It didn't look like things were going to be bad, but then she started doing better. So, I was like, yeah, so let's give it to... Um, <sighs> Kayla and then Kate got it last because she wanted to be in her bed. <laughs> yeah, Rex had to bring it to her. Was it just me or was that needle like hella fucking long? If I swear the shit was like this long, <laughs> I'm like, I'm like, cold in my skin. <clears throat> Lordy, thinking about all that blood that all those doctor visits last year and getting my blood drawn. I'm like, I'm afraid of needles now. <laughs> well, I've always been afraid of needles, but even more torturous. <clears throat> but I don't know if I ever talked about it on one of my reviews. Last time I was in a the hospital, they had an IV in my arm. And it had the blood pressure on my cuff on my arm. My blood pressure was high. And every time I took my blood pressure, it felt like... The IV was digging further and further into my arm, and I'm just like, that was just so traumatic. <laughs> it's like in and out of sleep all night. It was horrible. Never again. Well, I stayed in that at the hospital. <laughs> but anyway, <clears throat> but Kristen said that um, Brady can't dump her even after everybody's feeling better because um. Ralph said they probably need a second dose and um, a booster too. So I'm like, um, so <laughs> this is the COVID, <laughs> the COVID flower. <laughs> you know, that's what they do with COVID. I remember I got two shots for that, and they're talking. I'm like, I'm, I'm not doing a booster now. <clears throat> so, <laughs> but something does still go wrong because Kayla, she, um, she goes to heaven to see somebody. I thought that was going to be this week, but it's not. <clears throat> so we have to wait to see who she sees. I don't know. I don't know how automatically thought of Bo, but, you know, it could be somebody else. But, yeah, Brady broke up with Chloe, and she was all heartbroken, and she was crying in the call today. 
about it in the post telling her about her fight with Wraith on Monday. That that seems hella intense. I was like, Ooh. I just feel like awkward watching <laughs> kind of like Jada. She was like, there was, was they were outside of the pub and Jada was like walking. <clears throat> she's about to walk there, but then she like hid behind me because she's like, oh, it'd be awkward if I come up here in a fight. <laughs> but, you know, Rafe was just mad about, you know, Nicole wanting to spend, you know, all up on Eric and always there for Eric and stuff, you know. He got a girlfriend, he don't need your ass. And, you know, it's like, um, he didn't want her to, um, be working with Eric. <clears throat> he said he felt like he made a mistake with her because she still has feelings with Eric and Nicole, of course. It's like she's still committed to him and their marriage and stuff. And I'm like, <laughs> Lordy. <clears throat> and people just want Eric and Nicole together. And I'm like, I can understand the appeal. They're very beautiful together. But I can't. She's not the Nicole that I know and love when she is with Eric or with Ray. Or when she was with Daniel, you know, the Nicole I know and love. If she wanted fucking Eric, she would have done whatever the fuck she needed to do to get Eric. <clears throat> and then he'd get her, get mad at her ass for doing some shit, you know. But you know, she went and just up and married Ray. That's that's not that's not my Nicole. That's why I say that she's best with EJ because she can be truthful with EJ. I digress. <clears throat> yeah. And so Chloe, asked, uh, Brady told her it was about Rachel and that, you know, Rachel don't like her and he just wants to make Rachel happy and, you know, let her be there with Kristen. So, so <clears throat> but Chloe had asked um, Nicole if, I forgot. I told you, I just forgot exactly what she asked. How did she want, something about if she wanted to work on her marriage and Rafe had walked in. Yeah, Jada had told um, Eric, well, Nicole emails Eric that she had to let him go because of budget cuts. <clears throat> and Jada told him about the fight she overheard with um, Nicole and Rafe. And then she told Rafe, that she overheard their fight. So Rafe went there to make up with them. So they're all good now. Apparently they're going to be having some makeup sex. And Nicole's going to be thinking about Eric. <laughs> Lordy. <clears throat> Rafe got called away to the um, police station. So Nicole went to go see Eric. And she's like, oh, good. I, I, I was hoping that you were here. And Eric's like, well, I'm not at work. <laughs> oh, Lord. I thought that was funny. <laughs> oh, Lord. I blinked that after that. Uh, <laughs> another funny thing. And Kayla, after getting her um, serum, she wanted to have sex with Rafe. I mean, Rafe. Roman Kay wanted to have sex with Roman. She wanted to consummate her marriage. And I'm like, she was like half dead a second ago, and now she's ready to have sex. I'm like, damn, let me get some of that serum. I need that kind of energy. I need that energy boost. <laughs> Oh, Lordy. But it was, um, oh, another funny thing this week. Lordy. Wagner had a dream that Zandy had came to her, bring her flowers, and said that he still wants her. And Zach was in. The girl is making out with the damn pillow. <laughs> He's like, he said, I can come back if I'm interrupting. She's like, no. And she tells him about the dream, and he's like, oh, well. And yeah, kind of married there, so, no. <laughs> Lordy, but she's finally getting released from the hospital. I'm like, damn. She 
been there for a minute. <clears throat> yeah, and at the same time, Zandy's looking for a job. <laughs> yeah, um, he convinced Victor to let him and Sarah move back into the house. Yeah, a scene that we didn't get to see. I haven't seen that from Victor in a while. <clears throat> but, um, I guess Jack, I totally missed this scene, but apparently Jack asked Gwen if she wanted to work at the Invader or offered her a job at the Invader because Jack was saying that, oh, it'll just be a fight at, um, at the Invader. But Ava came to see Gwen. She wanted to, um, ask her for help. Because EJ kicked her out, and she was hoping that like, women would get close to EJ and then get some kind of revenge. But Gwen turned her down, thankfully. I'm like, good. Be a good girl for once. <laughs> I'm just saying, you know, you just done so much shit. Ava just leave town and come back later down the road <laughs> or something. I don't know. But it's just, yeah, it'll just be silly. But. It was like Ava may get some help because she overheard Zandy um, talking to the Salem and trying to find out how much he owes. But he has um, back rent. They said like four thousand something. I'm like, damn. Yeah. <clears throat> so in trouble. <laughs> and Sarah's not full time at the hospital. She's done. Well, she's part time at probation right now. So. Yeah, I'm like, there's no other doctor there. They need a doctor there. Kayla is on her deathbed. <laughs> well, anyways, that's all that happened this week. I think. Pretty sure that's all that happened this week. <laughs> anyways, yeah, we didn't get to see um, a follow-up about Paulina and um, Chanel. What's going on with that? Hopefully we get to see that next week. Oh, one last thing. Kristen's ready to move in after her conversation with Stefan. She went <laughs> to the townhouse with her suitcase ready to move in <laughs> with Brady. Oh, Lordy. Chloe was there picking up the rest of her shit. <laughs> yeah, like, Chloe's like, um, yeah, and I think Don might be able to figure out exactly why Brady dumped Chloe for Kristen. I just feel like it, yeah, because just the way that their scenes were today, Brady's like, you had to do it, and John's like, hmm, yeah, but I guess once Marlena starts feeling a little bit better, he'll get to the bottom of it, so. Anyways, I'm going to stop talking. And let you guys enjoy your weekend. Let me know in the comments below what did you enjoy and didn't enjoy this week. And if you like this video, hit the like button, subscribe, and share with somebody. A stabby fan. Anybody. Anyways, and the light from my blinds all over my face looking weird. That, that's not my face. Okay. Anyways, thank you for watching. I will see you guys next weekend. Love ya. Bye.